Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. I will be sharing the stories from some of the victims of Jane Barry and Peter Marfleet and how the attacks from Jane and Peter has impacted them. Some names will be changed to protect their identity. This is one of Jane's many versions of the story. So as always, the truth is posted on my channel. Try to keep up with her lies. Here my side to Gracie and Claire and the rest of the clang. The case against what happened with me being homophobic, LBQ community, whatever you want to call it. Sorry, I cannot say that word properly. Has been dealt with. I didn't mean to say those words. I was pushed and pushed and pushed to breaking point. So if you want to believe them, don't come to my page. Stay away. Team Truth Jane. You know, they're going around calling Peter a pedophile. Is that fair? No. They got hold of my phone number. There's rattling on my mobile phone. Is that fair? No. They got my mum's death certificate. Is that fair? No. I got confused about my mum's death, right? This is my side to my mum's death. When the coroner done the inquest to my mum's passing, I was told by the paramedics it was overdosed. My mum was found with tablets that did not belong to her. And I did not know she had them. The paramedics found them. So that's when the police were called out. Because the tablets in other people's names. I knew who they were from. I knew the names of the people. So it was a suspected suicide. So when I had the phone call about it, I had Peter's dad fighting in the hospice with terminal cancer. You try processing all of that together, everything within well, not even a year, processing the hospice phoning up, saying the father-in-law probably isn't going to make the night. Imagine how your brain is. And because I haven't seen the death certificate, I've not ever seen it, then can't someone get very confused? Because it's fucked my brain up. So if you want to take size, do it. I don't care. I'm not in a playground anymore. End of story. So part two of Gracie and the rest of the gang. Um, if you look at the YouTube videos, they're constantly repeating themselves very very repeating themselves um we have said sorry to them numerous occasions <clears throat> for what happened but they keep saying my sorry is not good enough how are you meant to say sorry then but we've never ever had a sorry from her for calling Peter a paedophile, setting up accounts, saying that Peter's a paedophile, pinching photos, pointing to his manhood, saying that, um, you know, things are happening below. Um, the stress that you've called Peter, you called Peter in that the stress you've caused me in my phone number because <clears throat> I have recordings he was ringing me because I was talking on that on my old number so I have recordings of 
their voices. Yeah, I have recordings. So she's just pissed off because the police ended it. At the end of the day, make up your own mind. But I don't appreciate you coming over here saying what you're doing. Because this side is Team Jane. Team Jane, Team Jane, Team Jane. Truth Jane, Team Jane, Truth Jane, Team Jane, Truth Peter, Team Peter, Truth Peter, because that's what you kept doing on my live stream earlier this morning. At least he's saying the same fucking thing. Watch a film called Groundhog Day, because that's how literally how you're acting. And if I left this app, which I can't do because it's on my old phone number, I don't have anymore, you have nothing to talk about.